Hey everybody, welcome back to Rewell Homeschool and today is our final installment of our pest series. So our final installment is going to focus on thrips. Thrips are a flea-like pest that you can get on your plants both indoor and outdoor. So commonly a lot of online articles are going to focus on thrips that you can find in your garden, maybe on your tomato plants or something of that sort. Whereas thrips that you find in your house may be a different species of thrips, but they're all kind of under this umbrella of like a flea-like pest. And what makes them really, really bad basically is the fact that thrips can jump. So, you know, fleas can jump from one animal to the next, thrips can jump from one plant to the next. Yeah, it's not great. So because of this reason, one of the most important things to do when you identify that you do have thrips on your house plant is to quarantine it. So typically when we're quarantining one of our sickly house plants, we just wanna make sure that none of the leaves are touching another plant's leaves um, in direct contact. We wanna make sure there's at least like a good area around them where we can spray and we're not gonna dislodge a pest and just put it onto another one. Uh, but for thrips, we really want it to be uh, quarantined in its own room, separate from any other plant. Now you really know what quarantine means. You will know that your plant has thrips if you are kind of seeing, it looks very similar to spider mites in that the thrips actually are sucking the life out of the plant. They're gonna be attaching on and just like eating away at it. It's gonna be a little bit more aggressive than the spider mites, which would take a really long time. Uh, usually the onset is pretty slow and low. Whereas with thrips, it's very aggressive you could have a plant and then in just a few days or maybe a week, you'll really notice it start to deteriorate, you'll have yellowing, maybe some browning or even some black spots. The other way to make absolutely positively sure that you have thrips is to grab a magnifying glass or just get really, really close up to those leaves and just take a look at what seems to be going on. And what you will notice is really long, thin, slender, almost rice-like looking bugs. And if you breathe on the plant, they will actually scatter out of the way. So you are reducing the oxygen in their environment significantly when you do that. It's an old greenhouse trick that I've learned. Thrips are the only ones that move that quickly. So that's an absolute 100% identifier. <laughs> it works. So you unfortunately know you have thrips, you've quarantined your plant, now it's time to bust out the heavy duty stuff. I would really recommend a pesticide for thrips, something that's definitely gonna be really potent and get the job done because they can eat away at a plant and devastate a plant so quickly. You don't have the luxury of a lot of time like you do with some other pests where they're pretty innocuous, pretty slow. It's gonna take a really long time for them to fully infest an entire plant and do some damage. With thrips, time is of the essence. So I recommend insecticide, so I'm just going for it. Another alternative method to pesticides, if you are not interested in having that inside your home, totally reasonable, or if you don't have insecticidal soap or you don't want to use that, or maybe even it's a little bit too overwhelming of an infestation, which can happen since the thrips jump. I actually highly recommend releasing live ladybugs in your home. So beneficial insects are something that you can utilize in your home. They basically are predators of the pests on our house plants. So beneficial insects include ladybugs, lacewings, predatorial mites, the list goes on. You can definitely check this out online and look up whatever kind of company you're interested in supporting. There's lots of them that sell these. They literally ship them to you and you get them within a day in like a cold pack box with all the instructions that you'll need to release them. I would recommend, if, especially if you have thrips, just going for ladybugs. It's something that is a little bit more accessible and less overwhelming than something like a lacewing, which is kind of like a fly, uh, especially because the company will ship you quite a lot. From personal experience, once you release them into your home, you do have a lot of bugs just flying around. So proceed with caution. It's organic. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Highly recommend releasing bugs in your house. So I would say that the ladybugs are highly, highly, highly effective, but if you are uncomfortable with bugs or you just think that that would not be something uh, that you would be able to handle, it would be very overwhelming to you, I probably wouldn't recommend. But if you have a really bad thrips infestation and you maybe can't treat every single plant or you're kind of losing that battle, highly recommend. Try it out. 
So I hope this series has helped you guys just learn a little bit more about each individual pest that you may encounter on your houseplants, and I hope you feel equipped to defeat them, no matter how bad the situation may be. If you ever have any questions, of course, you can always email us or DM us. We're happy to help send us pictures. Other than that, we'll see you next time.